What's going on? Average Tech Guy here. Today we are back. More tech and more views. And this is part two of your new gen controller setup with your iPad. And this time we're going to be looking at your brand new Xbox controller. And we're going to make sure this will work with iOS 14.5. So let's check it out. So you actually have one of these laying around the house, right? And you want to connect it to your iPad. Well, first off, you have to have iOS 14.5. Now I have the beta version downloaded on my 12.9 iPad Pro, and we're gonna be checking out gameplay with this controller. Now, before you can get this connected, there are a few things that you gotta do. So going into our settings, we're going to Bluetooth, and then we gotta just scroll all the way down, holding down the X button, and then the pair button will actually make that light flash a little bit faster. And you'll notice right here at the bottom, there we go, Xbox wireless controller, pair and request, white light stays steady. We are now connected and ready to go. Okay, so if you've ever played NBA Jam, this is NBA Jam on skates. This is Urban Rivals. Um, cool little game that you can play it actually takes a lot of different sports players and puts them against each other in a hockey game so they get turbo they get shot they get little different trick shots and it handles really well with this controller now let's just watch a little bit of gameplay okay pass it shoot oh miss shoot goal not saying that i'm good but hey you know all right so <laughs> Just one more round, let's go, boom. And just play with them a little bit. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Shoot. Shoot, go, there we go. So I don't play this game very often, but there are a lot of different sports stars that you can choose from. They even have NHL, they have NBA, they have soccer stars in here. Um, so basically anybody, you have to play to get these stars, to get these people. Um, but once you play for so long, they actually have a lot of them that you can come in here and customize your team with. And everybody basically comes with the different skill sets. They each come with different special moves that you can use on the ice. If you're a fan of NBA Jam and NFL Blitz and NBA Street, this will be something that'll be good for you to kind of check out for the iPad. And also it's controller compatible. So just keep that in mind. So now we're gonna go old school and we'll play as Knuckles. So this is Sonic 2. Now basically you know Sonic to be just up and down and right and left and jump, right? And spin dash. Now it's easier to control on the D-pad versus the analog on this game. And you still got your spin dash. And Knuckles can still do his signature glide. That's dope. And we can pick up these shoes and go super speed. Oh, monkey in a tree. Oh, I'm missing everything. Yeah, I'm missing everything. Let's go back. Oh, and I died. <laughs> All right, so let's try this again. But as you can see, handles are still really good, even though I suck at this now. Let's get those shoes again. Boom. And super shoes always made me mess up anyway. And there's the monkey in the tree again. Spin dash. There we go. No, not backwards, forward. There we go. Oh, here we go. Secret. Da, 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 da. Boom. Don't fall in the hole, please. So the cool thing about Sonic is they actually had multiple layers within the games, even this early on. Let's do spin dash. That's the slowest spin dash ever. No stars. Okay. Ooh, we 
We got Robotnik early. There we go. Come on. Come on, big boy. Uh, two. See if we can get two for one again. Oh, knock my shield off. Boom. Oh, you'll pay. There we go. At least keep 10. Got him. Done. There we go. So really easy to use. I'm just rusty, but it uh, still works. Xbox controller, the brand new Xbox controller working with your iPad Pro. So now I'm gonna take you guys old school. So I talked about this in the first part of the video of the PlayStation. If you wanna know about this, I gotta get enough views to put a video out to actually show you how to do this. Um, but if I get enough comments, enough views on the video, and people wanna know how to put this on their iPad, uh, this full disclaimer, it only will last as long as Apple allows it to last. So just keeping that in mind, if you download it, a lot of times they kind of get rid of it. Now, just like with Sonic, it's easy to use a D-pad on this. Let's see, there we go. All right, so let's pause it right there. Let's check this out. All right, so I'm bringing in PS5 controller. Now, let's watch you can actually swap over and use these controllers um, interchangeably but you cannot use them simultaneously so no matter what you do in this app you're going to still be one player you can't do two players with this application so on games such as this one like spider sword so I'm um, PlayStation controller on number one. All right, Xbox controller number two. So simultaneous one and two player is cool on Apple Arcade games, but if you're playing old school Nintendo games, it's not gonna work out for you too well. But once again, controls on this one, still nice, still fluid, and I can't do two players at one time, but that's pretty much what it's gonna look like. So old school contrast hype motions, old school gaming in a new school feel. Now there is one thing that you're gonna need to know about these controllers. When it comes to connectivity, the actual PlayStation controller it has a better connection than the Xbox one. A lot of the games, the Xbox controller will not connect and will not work unless the PlayStation controller was already there. But I think that that is just a connection issue. So it does work with tons of things. It's just the PlayStation, it has a better, more stable connection than the Xbox controller does as of right now. So that's been pretty much it. This is the new Xbox controller. I picked up the robot white because that's like the best looking one to me. Um, you may have the blue, the black, whatever you got, but I like this one a lot. Handles really well. I've never been an Xbox fan, but the Xbox style controller has always been of interest to me and it feels good in the hands. There's no vibration in any of these games. There's no feedback. Just keep in mind that you will have to connect this through Bluetooth. And we already went through all of that. So hopefully this has been able to help someone out. Until next time, be sure and give me that big thumbs up and please subscribe. Average Tech Guy out. Peace.